Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a smooth 3D text animation right inside the After Effects. Create a composition and name it 3D Text. It's a landscape frame and for frame rate 30. Right click here and create a text layer. I write wipes. Click on it, center it and align it. Now make it 3D and select Advanced 3D in the drop down menu. Extend the layer and go to Geometry option, then increase the extrusion depth value. As you can see, we added depth to the letters. 120 is good. And for a styling, you can also set bevel depth to angular. Now we want the letters individually. Duplicate the layer and lock the reference layer. Double click it and type V, then hold Shift and move it into position. Select it and duplicate it. Double click on it and type I and fix it. And the same for the rest of the letters. Turn off the reference. Now select the, all the letters. We want to change the anchor point of the letters. It should be down from the front. In this way, select two view and from here select top. Now we need to move the anchor point to the middle. Select the anchor point tool. While the snapping is checked, move them to the middle and return to the previous state. Now to give the letters more dimension, create a camera and make its lens ultra wide. Like this. Like it, all right. Now we'll start animating the letter B and then we'll copy the same animation to the rest of the letters. Solo the letter B and press R key to make a rotation appear. We want to animate it on the X axis. Set the indicator to first and create a keyframe and now put it on second one. And set this number to one to make it go one full turn. And then at about 2 and 20 it's make another turn and close the work area a little further. Select the keys and make them easy ease. Open the graph. We want it to start at high speed, slow down and then speed up again. For this side 20. And this side 85. And this side about 90. And this side 40. Let's see how it looks. It's top in the middle, which we don't want. So double click on this keyframe, turn on continuous and set the velocity to 35. Let's see. Now, when the indicator reaches the highest point on the graph, only the top of the letters should be seen. Do this by slightly adjusting the amount of influence. This way we can morph the next letters very gently. And the same for here, it need a little adjustment. Now it's great. Now let's spice it up with some secondary action to give the motion a more dynamic feel. Place the indicator on the frame 15 and select the keys and move forward 50 frames. Now move the indicator to the beginning and create a keyframe. And now lower the value of the second keyframe by 9 degrees. Open the graph. Now its movement is like this. Let's adjust the graph. 40 for this side. And 60 for this side. 
the animation starts with a backward anticipation, then accelerate forward. Let's add some overlapping action to make this top feel more natural. Place the indicator on this key and move forward 10 frames and create a keyframe. Let's add 9 degrees to this keyframe so it leans forward a bit. Select this keyframe and adjust its graph. Like before, 40 on this side and 60 for this side. And so far we have something like this. Now we want it to come forward when it starts spinning. Press the P key, then right click on the position property and select separate dimension to split the axis. We want to animate it in the Z axis, make a keyframe and place the indicator until the rotation is complete, about here, and bring it forward about 250 pixels. Select the keyframes and make them easy ease and open the graph. We want it to move from fast to slow. For this side 20 and this side 80. Press U key to make keyframes appear. So now it's come forward like this and also goes back to where it was before. About here, select these two keyframes and copy them here. Bring it back a little. So now we need to reverse the keys. Right click on the keyframes. Then from the keyframes assistance menu, select time reverse keyframes. And it's moved like this. We can move this key a little further so it's move faster. Let's add overlapping action here. Place the indicator here and make a keyframe. Now move it back about 30 pixel. Adjust the graph. 20 on this side. And 80 on this side. Let's see. It looks great. Let's apply this same animation to all the other letters. Bring the indicator to the beginning and unsolo the letter B. Then hold command and click on both property to select their keyframes. Then copy and paste onto all other letters. Now the rest of the letters are animated as well. Now at this time, we want to change the letters from wipe to good. While the letters are selected, go back one frame, expand the layer, and set a stopwatch for the source text property. Press the U key to show all the keyframes and go forward one frame and start at the first letter. Double click on the layer and type G. Next O. Double click O. And D. And this is how the letters morph. At this time, it should change to wipe. Place the indicator one frame before the time when the word is visible from above. Select the source text keyframe and copy and paste them, and then reverse the keyframes. Now the letters are morphing in time. Now we want the spacing between the letters to increase when the letter good appears. Select the indicator here, select all the letters and press P key. Make a keyframe on the X axis and now move the indicator forward until the letters reach the front. You can turn off the camera to reduce distortion and make them easier to see. Start with the letter O. Move it along the X axis. And the letter G. And for this O. And the same for the letter D. Now select the X keyframes. The middle one has no movement. 
and make them easy ease. Open the graph. We want them to move very quickly. On this side, 15. This side, 85. Turn on the camera. Let's see. Okay. And here it's back to where it was before. Select the X keyframes and copy them here. Take them back a little. And now reverse them. You should move the keyframes one frame before this keyframe. We can speed it up a little, like this. Well, everything looks good. Now it's time for offset. Collapse our layer property by pressing the A key several times. Place the indicator at the first and zoom in on the timeline. Deselect the V and move the letters one frame forward. Next word. Now select this layer and expand them. And that's how we bring the letters to life. Now let's take it to the next level. Once the text gets to this point, let's make a shiny light sweep across the letters. Before we start, let's center the camera a little. Unlock the camera and move it with this tool. Now create a composition by drag and dropping this composition onto this icon and rename it Main. Then place the indicator on the time when the text comes forward. Select the pen tool, deselect, the fill color is white and the stroke is off. Start drawing, something like this. Let's trim the layer from the beginning, then press P and create a keyframe. Now move the indicator a little further, about this far. Then move the shape to the end. This is how the shape moves over the leather. So now we need to make it appear only on the surface of the leather. If we track matte the shine on the 3D text, the shape will appear on all the text, which is not interesting. We want it to appear only on the text surface. I'll undo it and duplicate the 3D text composition instead. And add Matte to its name. Then enter the composition. Select all the letter and from the Geometry Options section set the extrusion value to 0. And now only the text surface remain. Then enter the main composition. Put the matte composition inside it. Set the shine layer matte to this composition, like this. This is what we wanted. Now let's give shine a little style. First add the fastbox blur effect to it. And set the value to about 9. Now let's distort it a little. Add the turbulence displaced effect. and set the value to around 20. Now let's add the final touch. We want to add shining star to the text. Select the star tool and then deselect. 
click and drag, hold shift to make it stand. Now we need to change the start from 5 point to 4 point. Go to the poly star pass section and set the point value to 4. And for the inner radius, set it to about 25. And for the outer radius, 65 is good. And increase the inner roundness to 116. And for the outer roundness, 24 is enough. Now we want to reduce the distance between these two points. First we need to convert it to a pass. Right click on the poly star and click convert to busier pass. And now if we click on the pass we can adjust it. Press V and select these two vertices. Double click on the vertex and now shrink it by holding down the command key on both sides. Like this. To center the anchor point, hold command and double click on this icon. Now move it here. And when the shine got to this part, trim the layer from the beginning. To scale press S and make it a little smaller and make a keyframe. Hold down the option key and move the keyframe forward 5 frame and set the scale to 0 and go 10 frame forward. Set it to 0. Trim the layer. Now select the keyframes and make them easy ease. Open the graph. Make the middle keyframes 80 on both sides. Name the layer a star. Move it back a little. Let's add another star here. Duplicate the star and change its position. And time it. And the same for the letter D. That's how I made this 3D text animation. With your own creativity, you can come up with tons of cool 3D text idea like this. Hope you picked up something new today. See you guys in the next one.